Hello everyone. Welcome back to Rizat Graphics. In this tutorial, you will learn to create a simple fireworks animation in Adobe After Effects without using any plugins. So, let's get started. Open Adobe After Effects then create a new composition. I am calling it Trail. Set the resolutions to 300 by 1080 pixels, 30 frames per second, and set the duration to 2 seconds. Go to the layer menu and create a solid layer. Rename it to Trail. Go to Effects and Presets. Then search the Effect CC Particle System 2. Drag and drop to the solid. Right click on the blank space. And create a null object. Hit the P key to open the position properties. Go under the trail layer properties. Under the effects. Then under the CC particle system 2. Under the producer. Hold the Alt key on the keyboard, and click the position stopwatch icon to add an expression. Then drag the pick whip to the null object position. That's it. Our trail layer is connected with the null object. Select the null object layer. Add a keyframe on position properties. Then drag the null object to change its initial position. Go forward to one second on the timeline. Then change its position to something like this. Let's preview it. Cool. Let's change some settings. Select the trail layer. Go to the effect controls. Add a keyframe on the birth rate. Go forward to 1 second. Change the birth rate value to 3.3. Go to 1 frame forward. Change the birth rate value to 0. Our animation will look like this. Let's change a few more settings. Change the longevity to 0.5. Under the producer, change the radius X and radius Y values to 0.3. Go under the physics. Change the velocity to 0.05. Change the inherit velocity value to 10. Change the gravity value to 0.3. Under the particles. Change the birth color to white. And change the death color to orange. Change the max opacity value to 20%. Let's preview it. Cool. Looks perfect to me. Select the work area for 1.15 seconds. Right click. Choose trim comp to work area. Go back to the projects panel. Go to Composition, and create a new composition. Then rename it to Firework. Set the resolutions to 1920 by 1080 pixels. Set the duration to 10 seconds. Right click here, then New, and select the solid. Rename it to the firework. Go to Effects and Presets. Search the Effect CC Particle System 2. Drag and drop to the solid layer. Let's see. Let's make some changes. Make sure you are at the first frame. Then add a keyframe. Change the birth rate value to 25. Go to 15 frames forward. 
change the birth rate value back to zero. Looks good, but not realistic. This is a simple fireworks animation. But in the future, I will teach you to create professional fireworks with the help of Trapicode's particular plugin. Anyway, change the longevity value to 3.0. Go under the producer. Don't change the values. Go to the physics. Change the velocity to 0 0.8. Change the inherit velocity percentage to 300. Change the gravity to 0 0.3. Change the resistance to 30. Go to particles. Change the particle type to motion polygon. Set the birth size to 1. Change the death size to 0 0.50. Change the opacity map to fade in and out. Set the birth color to an orange. And death color to brown. Let's see what we have created so far. Select the work area for 5 seconds. Go to effects and presets. Search the effect glow. Drag and drop to the screen. Change the glow threshold to 3.0. Change the glow radius to 15. Duplicate the glow effect. Let's preview it. Amazing. Select the particle system to effect, and drag this little circle to the top side of the screen. Perfect. Go back to the projects panel. Select the trail and fireworks composition. Go to the composition, and click add to render queue. Then click the lossless. Change the format type to QuickTime. Change the channels to RGB plus alpha. Click OK. Then click render. Now, open a new project. Go to the file menu, then import the rendered footages. Go to the composition. Then create a new composition. Rename it to Fireworks Animation. Drag the fireworks and trail footage into the compositions. Adjust the trail position. Duplicate the trail footage, and change its position. Then repeat the same process. Unhide the fireworks footage layer. Drag the fireworks footage layer, where the trail animation ends. Duplicate the firework footage, and change the position. Go to effects and presets, and search the effect of hue and saturation. Drag and drop to the second firework footage. Change the master hue degrees to change its color. I am just showing you a technique, but you can create a better animation than me. Let me do it faster to save your time.
Create a new composition. Rename it to the main composition. Drag the firework composition into it. Let's preview it. Cool. Looks perfect to me. Drag the Night City image just below the firework layer. Adjust the scale. Looks perfect. But I want to move fireworks behind the buildings. So, let's follow the next step. Solo the image layer. Select the pen tool. Then create a layer mask to remove the image background. Create a new solid layer. Go to Effects and Presets. Search the Effect Gradient Ramp. Drag and drop to the solid layer. Change the end color to dark blue. Finally, drag the Fireworks Animation layer, just below the image layer. Let's check the final results. Amazing! I hope this was helpful and that you've learned a lot from this tutorial. If you do have any questions, or if anything that is unclear, please leave a comment. I will respond as soon as possible. If you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon to get notifications. I'll see you in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching. Good luck.